A doctor accused of criticizing Russia's fighting in Ukraine in front of a patient was convicted Tuesday of spreading false information about the Russian military and sentenced to five and a half years in prison, part of an unrelenting Kremlin crackdown on dissent. Dr. Nadezhda Bayanova, 68, was arrested in February after Anastasia Akinshina, the mother of one of her patients, reported the pediatrician to authorities. Akinshina alleged that Bayanova told her and her son that his father, a Russian soldier who was killed in Ukraine, was a legitimate target for Kiev's troops and had blamed Moscow for the conflict. A video of the outraged Akinshina complaining about Bayanova was widely publicized, and Chief of Russia's Investigative Committee Alexander Bastrykin personally demanded a criminal case be brought against the doctor. Bayanova, who was born in western Ukraine, denied the accusation, insisting she never said what she was accused of saying. In a tearful closing statement last week, she had urged the court to acquit her. Her defense argued that the prosecution failed to present evidence that the purported conversation took place, including any recordings of it, and alleged that her accuser fabricated the story out of animosity toward Ukrainians, according to the independent news site Mediazona, which reported all of the hearings in the trial. In her closing statement to the court, Bayanova said it was painful to read the accusations in the indictment and broke down. A doctor, especially a pediatrician, is not capable of wishing harm to a child, his mother, or traumatizing the child's psyche. Only a monster is capable of this and of the words that I allegedly said to them, Mediazona quoted her as saying. Spreading false information about the army has been a criminal offense since March 2022, when Russia adopted a series of laws prohibiting any public expression about the fighting that deviated from the official narrative. Мне хотелось бы, чтобы у людей у всех было бы счастье, чтобы у них были счастливые семьи. Но, к сожалению, как говорят, рая на земле нет, мир не идеален, вот. Как-то так получается, но как бы хотелось, как бы этого хотелось, потому что столько проблем в жизни у людей, столько болезней разных с которым нужно бороться, нужно искать какие-то новые методы лечения. Меня удивляет не тот результат, который был сегодня получен, а меня удивляет результат, почему все складывается именно так, как складывается. За слова, даже если мы примем, скажем так, на веру тот факт, что обвинение надежды правдивое, все, что там написано, это правда, если мы примем даже этот факт, все равно пять с половиной лет за несколько, за несколько фраз, словосочетаний, женщине пожилой, заслуженному человеку в России, да, с такой профессией, я думаю, что это, ну, не хаги ворота, как говорится. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov on Monday rejected a report by the Washington Post newspaper saying that Russia's president and U.S. president-elect Donald Trump had held a phone call last Thursday as completely untrue and pure fiction. Peskov told his daily conference call with reporters the report was just false information. Asked about whether the Kremlin is expecting an escalation of the conflict in Ukraine, Peskov said, nothing can't be ruled out given that European leaders continue to seek the strategic defeat of our country. He was speaking following reports that French President Emmanuel Macron and UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer are planning to try and convince Washington to allow strikes deep inside Russia with storm shadow missiles. The dynamics of the special military operation are well understood by the military. They understand well what is happening, and, perhaps, 
It is also important to note that no types of weapons are capable of changing this dynamic, he added. Special Operations Forces fighters conducted a raid on the enemy rear in the Kursk region. The video was released by the Special Operations Forces Command of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. It is reported that as a result of successful actions behind enemy lines, SOF soldiers of the Armed Forces of Ukraine destroyed 14 occupiers and captured three. Judging by the footage released on video, the special forces managed to sneak into the forest where the occupiers were located and carry out a surprise attack. Camouflage robes were used for additional camouflage. Taking advantage of the surprise, two occupiers were captured right in their shelter. Another was wounded in the shooting battle and decided to surrender. The use of drones for coordination is a common practice for special operations forces, and not only commercial drones but also specialized military developments are used for this purpose. <laughs> 